hello in this video we are discussing an example to explain budget line and budget constraint so the example is as follows suppose that there are two commodities y and x the price of commodity y is dollar one per unit and the price of commodity x is dollar two per unit and also the consumer's income is dollar sixteen per time period dollar sixteen per time period and this whole income is to be spent only on these two goods x and y So, to begin with the solution of this example, we will first see how to find the horizontal and vertical intercept in this example. Now, to get the vertical intercept, the y-axis intercept, we will see like what happen if this consumer spend all of his income on commodity y he could purchase 16 unit of it because this intercept is calculated by dividing the income with the per unit cost of the commodity on the y axis so we are assuming that commodity is y so we divide the income the dollar 16 with per unit cost of y that is dollar one and we get 16 the y axis intercept similarly to find the horizontal intercept just divide the commodity on the horizontal intercept oh sorry just divide the income with the per unit cost of the commodity on the horizontal intercept in this case the commodity on the horizontal intercept the x axis is commodity x which costs dollar two per unit so we will divide dollar sixteen with dollar two and we have got this eight on the horizontal axis this is the horizontal intercept or the x axis intercept now by joining these two intercepts we get this consumers budget constraint line or budget line the budget constraint line gives us all the different combinations of x and y that the consumer could buy thus he could buy 16 unit of y and 0 units of x 14 units of y and 1 unit of x 12 units of y and 2 units of x and 0 units of y and 8 of x so these are all points on this budget line now these are the points which satisfies the equation of budget line but they are not the only points they are not the only points in the budget set all the points on the budget line and below towards the origin and the points towards the origin below the budget line they all are included in the budget set because they all satisfy the equation of budget constraint which is different from the equation of budget line as we have already discussed now note that for each unit for each two units of y that the consumer gives up for each two units of y the that the consumer is giving up he can purchase one additional unit of x he gives up two units of y and gets only one unit of x because one unit of y is dollar one per unit so two units of y is dollar two per unit which is what a single unit of x costs now slope of this budget line has a value of minus two minus 2 the minus sign is because we have to give up 
some amount of one good to acquire more unit of the other as we have already discussed in the slope video the slope of budget line video also to be noted is that all points on the budget line indicate that the consumer is spending all of his income on x and y that is px into qx that is the total expenditure on commodity x plus py into qy that is the total expenditure of commodity y is equal to m that is the income dollar 16 here we have can have a good big look at the diagram